Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with an all-new fishing game. This is called Bassmasters 2022 by Dovetail Games. I was just offered a key to this, and it just became available today. Before that, you could even access this game. And I'm going to come in here and check out the tutorial. I believe this is pretty much a competition based game with bass and maybe bass only I don't know I don't know anything about it I'm just coming in here and checking it out seeing what it's like I don't know if it's something you play against artificial intelligence only or if you can play with your friends or strangers or or anything <laughs> anyway I just figured I'd go ahead and take a first look at this and we're gonna start by starting the tutorial and see what we see what we'll see. Welcome to Dovetail Games Bassmaster Fishing 2022, the official video game of bass, where you can experience the exhilaration of competitive bass fishing. Hmm. Cool. Interesting. Now that you're in your boat, have a look around and get comfortable. This boat will soon feel like your second home. Okay, press to drive the boat. All right. Hey, you look like a pro already behind the wheel of that boat. Nice work. Let's find a spot where the bass are going to be and start fishing. Yeah, they're going to tell me where that spot is. And it would be right here. Ooh, we got a nice little fish finder there. Right. So now what? Oh, we go to the next waypoint. So they're just directing me. Okay, I got it. I'm good. Wait a minute. Let me do a few things with the settings here, guys. Let's see. Let me go ahead and turn some of the sound down here. Let's see if I can do so. Yeah, we're going to turn the music down. Might turn the master volume down a little bit. It's a little loud. Everything else I think is good. I don't care if the voices are loud. V-Sync window mode. Just checking a few things here. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, it's a little bit better. It's not quite so loud. I hope you can hear me just fine over this, guys. Oh, so they're just showing me how to drive the boat. I'm not sure how fast I'm going. It looks like I'm going like 80 miles an hour. I love the graphics in these games. Dovetail does really well with the graphics. You can only get up on the deck and switch to fishing once your boat has slowed down and come to a stop. Okay, press to switch to fishing. Q. This spot looks good. This may be just the spot you've been looking for. When you're ready, let's make a cast. Okay. Simple casting. Get ready to cast. Well, let me look, see what looks like a good spot, first of all. I'm not just gonna throw it aimlessly any direction. Let's try against that wall over there. Hold to start increasing your casting power. Pretty standard stuff. You see Ooh. that thing dangling at the end of your line? That's called a lure, and it's a key bit of equipment to use to attract a fish. A lure can attract a fish at all times, but is far more effective when moving through the water during your retreat. 
There are a few different retrieval techniques, but for now, let's start with the basics and perform a consistent retreat. Do this by reeling in at a consistent rate. All retrieval right. movements mimic how prey and bait move through the water. Combine that with colors and materials of different lures, and you'll impact your chances of getting bites. You can also control how deep some lures move through the water by increasing or decreasing your reel speed. Okay, we're just going to hold. See, now we get to see. That's the first one of the dovetail games I've seen where you could see the camera in the water. All right. Don't get disheartened. You're not going to get a bite on every retrieve. So cast out and retrieve again. Remember, the longer your lure is in the water, the better chance you have of actually getting a bite. All right. Oh, overpowered. So that still happens too. Hmm. So I'm going to let it drop a little bit because that's what I usually do in the other versions. I kind of like the way they did this because I like the underwater camera. That's pretty cool. I'm sure you could probably switch camera types. At least I hope you can. Oh, check it out. There we go. When a fish bites, you want to set the hook in the fish's mouth in order to give you the best chances of not losing that fish during the fight. Do this by performing a strike. A strike is performed by quickly pulling the rod up and away from the fish's location. But the timing of the strike is very important. Perform too early or too late, and you're at risk of losing the fish. But mastering this timing is something you will improve over time with practice. Great, now it's time to fight the fish. Once the hook has been set in the fish's mouth, it's gonna do everything it can to get away from you. Your job is to make sure you bring it home. Initially, fish will dart, run, or thrash while trying to escape, which is gonna put more tension on your line and hook until the fish either breaks free or runs out of energy. But we can combat that by relieving the tension during the fight. The tension system can be controlled through rod movements, reeling, reel speed, and the drag system, of course, to increase or decrease the line tension as needed. Remember, you're also at risk of losing a fish if the line tension drops too low, which commonly happens once a fish becomes fatigued. So be observant of how the fish is behaving throughout the fight, as being able to recognize when and how you need to increase or decrease the pressure during the fish fight will have you catching more fish consistently. So as you reel the fish closer to the boat, it's time to land the fish. If the fish's energy has been fully depleted once it's within grabbing distance, you can automatically land the fish. Otherwise, you can attempt to grab the fish and land the fish early. Grabbing a fish is all about the timing. When initiating the grab action, a landing icon will appear to indicate the timing you need to match to successfully grab and That's land different. the fish. Successfully grabbing a fish is a great way to land a fish faster, which can save you valuable time in a tournament. But it's also very risky, as failing to grab a fish will spook that fish and cause the fight to continue, putting you at risk of losing the fish. Nice catch. You'll be awarded points and experience for any fish you catch. But this little bank runner isn't even the species we came here to target. So let's release it and get back to fishing. Okay, so let's see. How do we release it? White crappie. Let's right. try a different equipment setup and see if we have better luck targeting bass. Your boat is equipped with multiple rods and reels. So you can have many different rods set up and ready to fish at a moment's notice. Open your inventory and let's see the rods we have in this boat. Different boats can hold different amounts of rods. Okay, so press I. The inventory screen shows all rod setups that are stored in this boat. You can see a list of all the rods. And when one particular rod is highlighted, it shows you the full breakdown of its setup. 
you can select and change any part of the rod setup using equipment you already own, or you can purchase new items and equip them. It's a great idea to have multiple different rod setups ready and waiting for use. That way you can quickly get your lure back in the water and change your tactics in a split second. For now, I have already set up another rod for you. Select the second rod and let's try again. Okay. Okay, so how do I... Okay, got it. Graphics are very smooth here, guys. Okay, so what am I fishing with again? I think it's a rattle trap. Not seeing any fish. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Ah, I was in trouble with overpowering it. That's not too bad. Now, what is this? Something is not right here. Let me see here. See, when I threw that, okay, something's wrong with the reeling on this, guys. No. It's like the reeling speed really lowered itself almost to nothing. Darn it! Okay, don't panic. Getting snagged is just part of the fun of fishing, especially when you're targeting those lunkers hiding in the cover. As you can see and feel through your rod movements, your lure has got stuck. And we want to make sure it's free so we can get back to fishing as quickly as possible. Okay. By using the combination of rod movement, reeling, reel speed, and adjusting drag, you can dislodge the lure from the snag. But don't go doing it all at the same time and don't do it too hard. If you snap your line due to too much tension, you will lose your lure and everything. If you want to save time, you can simply cut the line and re-rig, or swap to another rod. Mm. Oh, that's cool. It's got like a little indicator to when you've gotten it unsnagged. That's pretty neat. There you go. Once your lure is free of the snag, get back to fishing and working on your retreat. Getting snagged can be a real pain. And even if you've successfully freed the lure, guess what? You can get snagged again.
Okay, let me change back to that second one. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this. It's somewhat the same, but it's also very different in other ways. Okay, that is a... But this is why we risk fishing around snag-filled areas. Sure, there's a risk of losing equipment, but the payoff is getting bites of giant fish like this. Okay, you got this. Just like last time, let's bring this one home. It's gonna take some more effort though, as this fish is bigger, stronger, and even more aggressive. Keep your cool, you're getting close now. Remember, you can choose to grab the fish or wait for their stamina to run out to land it. Okay, I've got him, I've got him. Boom shakalaka. Now that there is a lunker for sure. Great job. You will get awarded more points and experience based on the size of the fish you land. He's a pound and 10 ounces, guys. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for fishing today. Let's jump back into the driving seat of this boat and head back to the boat dock. You don't have to worry about how fast you're traveling back now, but it's worth being aware that when you're competing under official tournament rules, you have to return to your initial starting point within a certain time to be officially weighed in and have your score counted. Failing to arrive back to this point at the assigned time will cause your final score to be deducted based on how late you arrive. Mm, it's like an or ice even worse, If you arrive too late, you'll be disqualified and score nothing. Great. So always keep in mind what time it is and the distance you need to travel when competing. Drive into the assigned area to finish up here. Okay, back to driving. Yeah, this is gonna be tough, guys. This is competition, strict competition. We're not just fishing for fun. Somehow, when I was messing with that, I must have decreased the real speed. I don't know what I pressed, but definitely caused me some problems there. <clears throat> and there we have a successful fishing trip. I had my doubts at points today, but you pulled through and I think you got a future. I know there was a lot of information to cover today, some of which is gonna take time to perfect and master. Still, you should be proud of yourself as what you displayed today are the skills and techniques used by successful pro anglers. Well done, I'm proud of you and I can't wait to see you on the water next time. Tutorial is complete. Now you press that to complete leave the tutorial so now I'm not sure what we're supposed to do but maybe we can come in here and practice in some sort of way so it looks like we've got some explore the water at our leisure so we can come in here and just kind of practice a little bit too so there's different species and different waterways many of these were seen in fishing sim world See, Guntersville was there, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see another one I remember. Uh, I guess that was it. That's the only one I recognize. Guntersville. The rest are new.
Toledo, Chickamauga, to Texas, Palatka, Florida, okay, St. John's River, Scottsboro, St. Lawrence River, that's in Arkansas, Lake Hamilton, Hot Springs in Arkansas. See, it looks like most of these are down south. So apparently you can get legendary fish here. That's the boss fish of the other games. Let's see, this is the career mode from College Series to Bassmaster Classic. This is where you showcase your skills to your friends and the community. This is your character, equipment, and boat coast customization. Anglers Hub, stats, boss fish, and species information. And Bass Master Track, your progress and rewards. And there's where you shop. Hmm. F is your options. So you got your basic. Cast control, total cast control, full HUD, underwater cameras on. So we're gonna have to go through some of this stuff and practice, I guess. Might be a good idea to start off by trying one of these locations. Let's see, where is Sabine? Variety of fish. Just to... Well, let's try this one. It's the first one that's there. It's in the Lone Star State. Looks like the activity has mid morning and right before sunset. We're gonna go with Bassmaster default loadout. These are our legendary fish, our boss fish. Got blue catfish, bluegill, channel catfish, flathead, freshwater drum, largemouth bass, long nose gar, spotted, striped, white bass, and white crappie. Quite a few. Even tells you what is legendary trophy in common. Alright. Well, let's see what we can do here, guys. Let's mess around a little bit. I mean, obviously, I'm brand new at this. So, we're gonna check out Sabine River and go fishing. We're just gonna kinda look around, see what looks good. find some spots that that my friends looks good right there check that out you got plenty of stick ups let's see basic cast control cast by filling a power meter the more full the bar the further you cast perfect for new players total gives you complete control of the rods movement allows you to choose when you release the line this version of cast control is difficult to master, but is more accurate and allows you to cast further. Well, we're going to start with basic for now. We're not going to get all full of ourselves here. Alright, I do see some fishes down there. Some fishies. Alright, and what do we got on our rod here? Let me check my inventory. Got the white bird fishing. This has a rattle trap. 7 pound test, white bird spinning reel, and white bird spinning rod. This one has a D22 chili bowl crankbait. No weight, 7 pound. It's a pretty much similar type of thing. A third one has got a leopard frog, so that's a top water lure. 
Well, let's start with something we know a little more about here. We'll just use this one. And we will see if we can get something. Okay, because I got the real... Sp Ooh, I actually... I actually caught a fish. I wasn't even trying that hard. <laughs> what do we got here? White crappie, one pound, eight ounces. Alright, we're going to try something else here. Ah, this is kind of like the catch in that getting overpowered is a little easy to do. Ooh, look at the long nose gar there. Ooh, damn. Perfect strike. Okay, we've got to play this guy. When he gets close, I'm going to try to figure out that grabbing the fish thing. What was it? Landing chance I pressed something. E. Nope. It keeps going under the damn boat. There he goes. Oh, wow. Is that a striped bass? No, it's a white bass. Three pounds, 13 ounces. Not bad. I like that one. Seems to be really doing really well with that lure. Let's try the uh, crankbait here. Probably 95 percent is about the best we're going to be able to hope for. See, this goes down as we reel it in. Ah, we got a snag. Take the real speed down just a little bit. Probably actually see it get snagged. Yep, I got me a stop and go going on. Ah! Overpowered! Damn it! Let's just recast it all together. Let's try throwing it this way. a little bit slower. <sighs> Ooh, there's a big old fish right there. 
nothing seems to be going for that. Let's try the third rod. Now this is top water. So we need to do a different approach altogether on this one. We're going to take the speed down. It's a little too easy to reel it in. That's about the best you're going to get. Okay, I did figure out that when... Ah! I didn't do it right. Let's try that again, guys. This is very, very sensitive. Ooh, 100%. Yep, when it goes to the full back to the guy, that means a uh, fish is on the hook. And I think we might have us a bass here this time. guys that's my first big bass what a hog and he is a trophy there you go five pounds nine ounce largemouth bass my first one for the game took me a little bit to get the hang of that landing the fish thing but I think I've got it guys awesome All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my first look at Bassmaster Fishing 2022. Been a while since Dovetail Games came out with a new one, especially since the carp and course, but this is much more oriented towards, well, bass, you know. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hey, I've, I was really having a good time. This is very a lot of, well, I can't even say it. This is a lot of fun, honestly, guys. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I know this deviates from our Halloween-based themes that we've been doing, but this just came out today, guys. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.